Hello, Zaniacs. I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. I don't understand. I don't either. Today we're going to talk about Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas. This is a very hotly anticipated book for 2020 and I was so excited when I got the opportunity to get a review copy and read it because even just the cover, which is going to be right there, is a little like mysterious. Like Catherine House, what is this book even about, right? It's about a house named Catherine. Well, kind of, yes. <laughs> um, so Catherine House is actually like a boarding school academy uh, that people go to uh, to learn for three years. When they're there, they cannot have any access to the outside world. No phones, no TVs, nothing. They can't even have the clothes that they came in on with them because they keep saying that it is a place where what they do in the house is going to make them this person who can go on to great things like scientists and politicians and you know people of power all come from this house and nobody really knows how it works but they just think they go for three years and they have an education so their main character is actually running from something she thinks she thinks she's responsible for murdering someone. Uh, she has flashbacks about it, uh, but she has been accepted at the school. And uh, the more that you read about this, the more you kind of think, who are these kids that are being accepted to the school? Because they don't really seem like people who are upstanding or like even extraordinary. They seem to be kind of like misfits, most of them. Um, they take classes that are pretty much normal uh, for the most part. Um, however, they're, they have just really weird things that they have to participate in, like meditation, that isn't as clear cut as you think it's going to be. There's also a certain scientific pathway, very exclusive in the school, that you can take uh, to learn how uh, this thing they call plasm is manipulated and what it can do. It's very controversial in the world, but you can learn to study it if you are part of this exclusive group of children in this school. And the problem with the main character is that her roommate, and I'm not giving away, this is everything that like happens in like the first chapter, I'm not even joking, um, but her roommate disappears in like the first semester of their being at the school and it is said because you have to go away to a tower to like regroup yourself that she committed suicide and so she is dealing with the fact that her roommate is gone and then it kind of follows the rest of the three years of what happens in her child education? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. It's more like college. I call them kids, but they're in college. It's like a college okay. system, okay? <clears throat> and the rest of it is this, her learning about the other people in the school and the, the scientific community of the school and what is happening to the people, what is happening to them. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall's Cook's confused. <laughs> it sounds to me like uh, Skull and Crossbones meets Xavier's School for the Gifted. Kind of, yes. The, the children do not have powers. They don't. But they yeah. have power over you when they graduate. Oh, wow. Anyway, uh, yeah, so he is kind of right. That is kind of what it's about, but there's a lot more into it. I gave it, if it's any indication, I give it four stars. The style that it's written in is not one that I typically read. Um, half the time I felt like I was in this like drug-induced dream that I was, was reading in this, but that's not to say that I didn't understand what was happening. It was just like, it, it's written in, in such a way that if someone was on drugs, that they would be writing about their circumstances, you know, hazy and dreamlike and whatever. So that kind of gives you an indication of what this book might be kind of about, really. I, half the time I didn't know what was real and what was imagined uh, while under the influence of whatever is happening with them. So hmm. there's that. But 
I thought it was a really good read. I gave it four stars, and what do you think? It's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will have all of the information down below. And until next time, stay sane. Bye-bye.